yesterday we talked about rounding to the nearest tens. Today we're going to expand on that and we are going to round to the nearest hundreds. This third grade class here in Egg Harbor City is about to dive into a math lesson. Go ahead and write where 479 would go. But the way it's being taught is different from most traditional methods. What is 263 rounded to the nearest hundred? Go ahead and enter your answer. We all got it right, okay? We should feel super proud of ourselves, right? This method is known as PMI, or Progressive Math Initiative. In our classroom, a lesson is delivered by first me giving the students a very brief introduction to the topic that's being taught. I do that by um, demonstrating the topic on the smart board. There are opportunities for the students to come up and interact with the smart board uh, throughout our lesson. After that, they are given responders, uh, clickers, as they call them. What is 263 rounded to the nearest hundred? By using the clickers, students answer a question and the teacher can instantly see how many got it right or wrong. I know everyone's answer instantaneously. I know how many of my students understand and how many of my students uh, do not understand. Depending on how many do not understand, I can make a quick decision as to whether to reteach or to move forward. PMI has been implemented throughout the Egg Harbor City School District. This open source digital curriculum was developed by teachers at the New Jersey Center for Teaching and Learning. What numbers are we looking at? The three. Not the three, the 63. This year I'm currently working on the mathematics curriculum for the Progressive Mathematics Initiative, or PMI. Um, I first got involved when my middle school received a grant from the New Jersey Center for Teaching and Learning to create a professional learning community to explore how to get children to be successful in algebra by the end of eighth grade. When we skip count by twos, we're jumping the number line and we're jumping over one number. I think so that PMI, the initiative, is wonderful for the students because it's Focus. They're focusing on one thing at a time. And for the teachers, PMI, the teachers can make it their own. And they can kind of change things up. They can use, they're using their own voice when they teach it. So rather than just reading from any old teacher's manual, it's developed by teachers. And when the teacher is teaching it, they're putting their own spin on it. So no, no one's going to teach it exactly the same. So when you're counting, now we know the K-12 curriculum and lesson plans utilize number. interactive whiteboard and student five, response seven, systems. Five, the CTL website contains seven, about 44,000 slides and has users from 50 states and 131 countries. The students feel very comfortable in a PMI classroom. Um, there's not that threat of raising your hand or even being called on without your hand raised and saying the wrong answer. Um, you know, there's no one is singled out for a wrong answer, but wrong answers are able to be explored and figured out why they were wrong and why did a student maybe put this answer and pick this choice. 220. Which hundred do you think it should be rounded to? 200. 200. How do you know that, Angel? We really look at their results from their formative assessment and then their summative assessments, so their tests. And what I've seen is that I receive higher scores on their tests, their unit end tests. With those formative assessments that I'm checking, I can see who needs extra help. So by the time I get to the end of that unit test, I'm getting better results. The biggest thing in our school is that it's allowing teachers to articulate more using the PMI program because it's a school-wide initiative. So students have started the PMI when they're in kindergarten. Once they progress to first, second, third grade, they're well aware of the program and how it works. My favorite thing about it, uh, I like to see the kids get excited when they respond, um, and especially when they see that they all got the right answer. You know, they do a little silent clap, or they, you know, they get really excited, and I think that their involvement in it is what makes it what makes it good for the teachers. Teachers, when they're teaching with PMI, they 
very rarely have to go outside of the program to search for resources to teach or to supplement with. Before PMI, I always felt like I was pulling at, well, I've got to grab homework for today. It's really not appropriate what's in the book for what they need to do. Um, I don't feel that way when you teach with PMI. You're really focused on the students and on the learning, not on the process of pulling all of these resources together and making sure you're covering standards. And that they can focus on the students like they know they all really want to. 100% of us answered that the answer was 300. 300.